Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Tyranids Start Collecting box set. This isn't the second Tyranid box set, Start Collecting one, um, this is the first. The second one is probably just up for pre-order and I've held this video back a little bit. You might still be able to get this from some places, but I think it's all but sort of discontinued and things and the new ones replaced it. The new one's a good set too, by all means. Um, the new one has a load of Gene Steelers, I think it's a Patriarch, and it has a Morlock. I mean, it's worth it just to get it for the Morlock, let's face it. But rest assured, I'll be getting that and I'll be able to do an unboxing and review for you. Um, so what I'm doing in this video is I'll unbox it, uh, look at all the sprues, and then in a separate video, I'll go through uh, the models and I'll go through the rules because hopefully, fingers crossed, I will have the uh, uh, Codex 2. So this set will cost you £50. It's a fair bit of money. Okay, so my maths cat has gone away and done all the calculations and she's found out that um, this Tyranid uh, Start Collecting set will save you £32 um, from buying all of the models separately. And one of the big reasons of that is... Um, is that the Hive Tyrant model, I didn't even understand that the Hive Tyrant model is actually £33. Quite a fair bit of uh, money um, for that model. Uh, the Warriors are actually £31 too for those three models. Um, so here's people thinking that the um, vastly superior detailed Death Shroud Terminators were a lot at 35 but here you're getting Warriors that are you know, £4 cheaper just for the three models. But anyway, let's continue with the review. As you just heard, it does save you a fair bit of money uh, from buying all the models individually. So, what do you get? Well, you get a, uh, a Hive Tyrant, and yes, it does come with the wings. It's a full Hive Tyrant kit. It comes with three warriors. I've already got sort of three warriors, unfortunately. But then it comes with all these gargoyles. So, um, let's let's have a look. Yep, you've got the images on the side. It's quite a big, uh, sort of thick box, really, um, in the grand scheme of things, you know, compared to sort, sort of like the, the Nurgle one. I mean, look at that. It's, uh, it's thicker than that. So that's that's good so far. Uh, this is the back, gives you some colour options. I mean, of course, my Tyranids uh, don't look like that or they're not going to be that colour. Um, but there you go. So, plenty of options. Let's just unbox this. So, here we go. Oh, a lot going on. And straight away, we can see the wings already. These huge, huge wings, plenty of detail. Um, for the Hive Tyrant, it's lovely uh, tail with this scarab type uh, um, appendage on the on the end of it. Um, you've got this brain thing going on, you've got the different teeth, um, you've got the cannons and the claws. Um, yeah, good bit of detail on the wings. Um, and I, I'm definitely gonna have mine flying, um, definitely. So that's the Hive Tyrant. Um, you get three bases there, that's for your warriors. Uh, speaking of which, I think these are your warrior sprue. It looks like this big cannon, um, different guns, different legs, whips, um, all kinds of things going on. Bone swords. Um, I'm not that familiar with Tyranid weaponry, but I will be once the codex comes out. But you've got teeth. But you've got faces, you've got barbs, you've got head pieces, um, so on. So that's your warrior sprue. Um, this is your gargoyle sprue. I think that that's your Hive Tyrant sprue still, with different arms and different guns, um, things like that. Because I think that that is just your warrior sprue, just just two sets, and this is a uh, part of the. Hive Tyrant sprue. So, lots of guns, lots of arms. These are your gargoyles. So you've got lots of wings, a um, couple of wings held by like a body and a head and a top carapace and a tail. You get 10 gargoyles. You got eight there and then two, two here, along with them, um, some of their weapons as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm really liking the sort of winged theme of this set. Uh, and then this is the other set uh, for the Hive Tyrant. You've got uh, even bigger sort of claws, bigger weapon, big uh, legs, uh, big whips, and the spikes, the massive sword there, 
and the uh, carapace itself along with a head and more swords you name it it's all there from the the main hive tyrant kit so it's a full hive tyrant kit speaking of which that is the base for the hive tyrant um, i'm definitely going to have mine flying i think he looks awesome there's no picture of him flying on the back uh, but there probably will be in in this set somewhere then you get all these bases yes they do have to provide sort of the 10 uh, bases for and the stands for all the gargoyles so you got all of those there that's loads of them i won't i won't get them all out i'll keep them i'll keep them in but uh oh, there we go so that's that uh this looks like the hive tyrant um instruction guide so i just sort of show you it compared to i've got the death shroud uh, bodyguard just with me at the moment doing that unboxing um but just to show you the difference so look at the difference in size first of all and then the fact that you've got the color um then you've got like a, a key um you know key here uh for the symbols um no key or symbols there look so it's straight onto black and white um it shows you which ones you can make so you can have one with uh, one is the Swarm Lord with all the swords. He does look pretty cool though. You can have the, the one with wings, which is what I'm definitely going to go for. Uh, and you can have just the, the normal Hive Tyrant with the sword and the, the big uh, big gun. Um, so yeah, it just shows you it being connected. Nothing wrong with that. It's got the numbers uh, of the parts and things, so that's okay. Uh, but yeah, just comparing it to the, the newer instruction uh, guides, um, you can see just the difference in, in that. But, uh, but yeah, there you go. I thought that'd be interesting. So that's the Hard Tyrant Guide, the uh, Gargoyle Brood. Very straightforward. Look at that. Seven parts each. They're going to be really straightforward and quick to, to make. Um, and then the Warriors, which uh, I'm quite used to, to making. I've made a few Warriors before. You can also make a Tyranid Prime as well. So if you wanted to, it's got a bit of a different sort of back... Um, back plate and I think I'm gonna I am gonna make one of those um because I made the three normal ones last time yeah and they're, they're instruction books um so I'm probably not gonna make these uh until I get the codex and then have a look at the weapon options and things and um, because yeah these are old instructions they don't have the the rules and the points and things like that so I'm probably gonna wait until the codex comes out before I build them but at least I'm giving you you know a tyranid sort of themed video uh this weekend um, and then you get the uh, next steps, so you get the, the Trigon, or the Morlock, um, which comes in the next Start Collecting set. There's a Carnifex, I think I do actually have a Carnifex, and then that's the Codex Tyranids, but you know, there's a new one coming out, so. There you go, this one, um, this is obviously 7th edition, special rules, so swoop forth. Uh, at the start of the formation's movement phase, the Hive Vanguard's unit of Gargoyles is within 18 inches of the Hive Tyrant. It can swoop forth instead of moving. Remove the unit from the battlefield, even if it's locked in combat, then immediately it arrives anywhere on the board using rules for deep strike. Um, it will not scatter if it attempts to deep strike within six inches of the Tyranid Warriors from within this formation. So that's pretty cool. Gives your gargoyles a bit more uh, of an ability there. And then, yeah, all these are, you know, flying little bases and things. So, yeah, I quite impressed with that. £50. Pound, um, based on the savings, uh, you know, the Hive Tyrant is quite a big kit anyway, um, that, but then you get the fact that you get the 10 Gargoyles and the uh, the three Warriors. Um, I do like the new kit as well, even though I do have a Patriarch, I think it is. Um, but it'd be nice to get some more Gene Stealers uh, to go with the Gene Stealer Cult Army and also that, that Morlock, which I've skipped so far in all the releases. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll go away, I'll build all these uh, dependent on what's in the codex, and uh, I'll give you the review of this probably before the second start collecting set. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.